The city is launching a new program to support Toronto's black communities in their fight against COVID-19. New numbers show just how disproportionately the black population has been impacted by the virus. But some critics question whether or not this is coming too late. We warned about the impact in March and April 10 months ago. We've already lost valuable community members. For some, this plan will be like better late than never and for others it's too late. The numbers are startling and a stark reminder of the reality Toronto's black communities are facing during this health crisis. While black people account for only 9% of Toronto's population, they've made up 16 to 33% of all COVID cases in the city during the pandemic. Currently 24% of all COVID hospitalizations are black Torontonians. So a, a disproportionate impact to a huge extent. When we saw these numbers, I can tell you we all felt a sense of urgency to immediately address them. With $6.8 million, the city says it will provide support to Toronto's black communities to help them fight off the virus and address the root causes of these disproportionate impacts. $6.8 million is a beginning, but it sure is not enough to actually address all of the you know, disparities and health violence in the black communities. The money will go directly to increasing mental health supports, food access and food security, mobile and community-based testing, mobile services to support seniors, income supports and housing security. Taking these steps for Toronto's Black communities will help all communities. To beat COVID, we know we have to protect those hardest hit by the virus. Another major goal, to address vaccine hesitancy. An estimated 30% of Canadians who are hesitant about COVID-19 vaccines are Black. The city's plan is to raise awareness with targeted public education campaigns. I think the, the messaging is important. I think it is coming really late. Building of trust, building of trust is, is more than campaigning. I think campaigning is important. I, I, don't get me wrong, it's critical, but I think there needs to be more commitment. After part three of the item carries, the vote is 24 to two. City Council also voting today to extend COVID bylaws until at least June. Those include requiring everyone to wear masks in all indoor public spaces, regulating physical distancing in public spaces and closing non-essential common areas. Councillors are also calling on the province to implement 10 days of emergency paid sick leave for workers during the pandemic. Only 42% of working Canadians currently have access to paid sick leave and among low-wage workers that number drops to 10%. We're still waiting on City Council's decision on another big item, Cafe Tio, which is the program that allowed restaurants and bars to expand their outdoor patio spaces, was on Council's agenda today. We were expecting them to get to that item, but it appears it has been delayed to later this week. The City's plan is to roll out a bigger and better version of the program this summer, and they're hopeful it will be operational by May.